Yeah, they just said he, you know, they asked him to stop whatever his complaint was, and he didn't stop, so they teed him up. And then he said something else to the other official, and he ran him out. It's just freaking ridiculous. I mean, total BS, um, you know, to take a star player out of the game. I've seen – see worse worse than what he did on a nightly basis. <laughs> like, like not – I've seen it before. I see it every night. So, unprecedented. Those are good, good officials uh, that were on the game tonight, but, you know, that was – Certainly on call for NBS. So what are you guys doing? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, I was before the game with Zoom and things that I advanced to. I'm curious just when did you find out about that situation? Yeah, when I got here. You know, I got here shortly around when it happened. And, um, you know, there's no place for anything like that in our game. There's just no place for it. Um, but I don't we have we released the statement as a team. I don't have anything really more to add to that. Curious, obviously, as far as the game goes, but Titan, then you guys went on a huge run. I think it was twenty six to two. What did you see or like doing that stretch that maybe you guys appreciate? Yeah, well, and we know we could force turnovers against this team. This this team uh turns the ball over a lot and um they're not a great three point shooting team. So you know, we wanted to take away the paint. We had a poor paint game last night. Uh, against Sacramento, and um, I wanted a response to that. Uh, we knew by doing that with their paint attack that we could force a lot of turnovers and get out on the break, similar to what we did in Utah, and, um, you know, played out that way. We forced a lot of turnovers. We got out in transition and, um, you know, separated the game at that point. Wonderfully. I mean, I thought it felt like a galvanized us, you know, um, you never know how games like this are going to go. Last game before the break, both teams played last night, um, you know, getting a little bit of adversity two nights in a row. We lost Brad five minutes in the game, we lost Book five minutes in the game tonight. Um, but having both of those guys out, you know, really, uh, you know, makes a shorthanded at the guard position. So, you know, I want to credit Saving Lee for coming in and playing a terrific game, you know, really helped uh, not only stabilize us, but sparked us. You know, uh, during that stretch, and our guys handled adversity well and uh, turned it into a positive. You know, built up a big lead. Yeah, he's an elite athlete. You know, I mean, he can really touch the paint at will, and um, you know, he makes good decisions when he gets there. You know, he's very shifty. He's got uh, great ability to draw fouls. Um, you know, with sweet moves and a shot fakes and those types of things. And um, you know, he's a hell of a guy to you know to have in that situation. You know, to come in and give us that spark. Was he getting that just excited about Marco's touch to for him to get his confidence in the court? Yeah, I mean, every opportunity those guys get to play, you know, the two way guys get to play in, uh, in, in you know, in our in in the NBA uh, with with our team uh, are always positive, whether they play well or not. You know, there are positive growth moments for those guys, and you know, when they come in and and do play well and do help us get a key victory, um, you know, I think those are you know, are, are great moments for, you know, for young players like that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that was the plan. You know, we, we knew these teams, this team makes a lot of mistakes. And um, if you, if you force them, you know, so we want to play with pressure. We want to, as a team, uh, we talk a lot about how we turn the ball over too much, but we also don't force enough turnovers. You know, so the turn, turnover differential, you know, is something that uh, we're looking at as a team that we want to be strong in the final X amount of games, however many games we got left. Um, you know, we want to focus on the turnover dif differential. So I was happy to see us come out and enforce as many turnovers as we did. Yeah, I mean, we got to align a ton each of the last two nights. I mean, I, I would love to see us shoot 43s every night. You know, it's just, uh, you know, if you're getting to the basket and getting to the free throw line, that's even better, you know, than, than high volume of threes. But we have a team that, you know, should should expect to uh, shoot a high percentage if we get those type of uh, attempts. So, you know, it is something we're continuing to encourage. Coach, it's 973. You guys are a lot of teams right now with points of progress. What's that Rest and recover. Oh, you mean after the break? After the break. 
Uh, well, yeah, we just talked about turnover differential, um, making sure we're a good defensive rebounding team, growing our small ball lineups, um, you know, and continuing to just uh, build that cohesion with, uh, you know, with all three of our, our captains out there, you know, and, uh, you know, our key role players, you know, Grayson, uh, Eric, Nurk, and, um, you know, obviously Royce O'Neal has been a huge addition for us. He played another terrific game tonight, does all the little things. Like he really excels at the little things, you know, and um, is a great talker. We feel uh, his physicality out there. And, uh, I mean, he was a plus 37 tonight, you know. So, you know, seeing him uh, play, just just getting him uh, incorporated with our, our core guys is a, a big part of what we're looking at post-break. Yeah, well, I mean, I think we're, we're finding a, a good rhythm. We're catching a good rhythm, but we know how good the West is. I mean, we, we really have to – uh, push the envelope to uh, excel in all areas that we can and really focus on the details and the work post break. So, um, you know, we're excited to, uh, you know, to take a little breather here and, uh, you know, watch our two guys in that game on Sunday and um, we'll get out of the break. Hopefully we can, uh, we can start with uh, a few W's. we got three and four right out of the gates, you know, with the Thursday, Friday, Sunday uh, schedule they gave us. I'm not surprised that a team would call and ask to try to get LeBron James. No, I think that's smart general managing. Um, fun to think about, you know, um, but there's a million scenarios like that that are discussed, um, you know, between GMs throughout the course of the year. Okay. <laughs> Randy Debris, Durant, and Saban Lee. 